It is, Bev. That record that you mentioned, 39.1 degree, surpassing 38.7, which was from 2019 in Cambridge, that was uh, recorded in Surrey, which is south of London. That was 11.30 in the morning b before uh, we even got to the temperatures uh, we're expected to get in the afternoon here. And we've just heard word to that they've cracked 40 degrees at Heath Row Airport in West London. Um, and so we expect the, those numbers to, to keep going up. And it's not just those daytime records that are being broken, Bev. Uh, last night was a tough night for millions of Britons because for, they, they broke the record for the highest uh, temperature at night time, which was nudging around 26 degrees. And as you can imagine, the homes here are just not built um, for dealing with those kind of temperatures when you're trying to sleep. Uh, there's not air conditioning. There's not the kind of uh, ceiling fans that we have in Australia. Um, there's not mass fan ownership generally in this country. And also just the buildings are not built that way. Uh, so it was a very tough la night last night. Uh, and it's a tough day today for the Brits getting through these kind of temperatures um, which they are just not used to. Yeah. Now, the government has issued a red alert, which is, I think, the, for the first time ever. So what advice are people being given to try and help, to, to try and cope with the heat? Well, they're being told to hydrate, obviously, and to stay at home. Uh, that message seems to be getting through. If you look at the stats for the underground, the tube here in London, um, figures were uh, down by about 30% uh, per normal, um, up to 10 a.m. Uh, this morning. Uh, also, people are, are being told to pull the blinds and the curtains. Uh, people in care homes are not being allowed out. Uh, the elderly are not being allowed out. Some interesting uh, tips flying around that I've not heard before either, Bev. Like there was a good one on the BBC website about putting your socks in the fridge uh, to cool <laughs> your feet. So that's a new one for me. Um, but there's, there's some, some general advice uh, going out there for health advice to keep people safe, um, given uh, what the buildings are like and what the infrastructure is like in this country. And of course, there's this other, you know, desperate measures to get cool in any way possible, yeah. be it putting ice packs on your head or eating ice blocks or, um, you know, just hydrating. When, you know, in Australia, we always wait for that cool change to come through. When might the relief come for Britons? We're expecting, expecting it pretty soon. Uh, later tonight, it will cool down and it's expected to be tomorrow. Uh, it's going to be just 27 degrees and rainy here in London. Uh, 27, of course, is normally considered very hot in London, but that will be a relief after it's just hit 40 degrees here. I hope you're in air-conditioned offices, Steve. Good to talk. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks, Beth.